This is Nicholas Copernicus. For thousands of years, human beings had been convinced that the sun revolves around the earth. Mainly because if the sun did revolve around the earth, we would expect to see the sun moving across the sky, which is exactly what we see, and because it seemed obvious to everyone that the earth is stationary. We don't feel like we're moving. But Copernicus believed that understanding the universe is a form of worship. He said, To know the mighty works of God, to comprehend his wisdom and majesty and power, to appreciate in degree the wonderful workings of his laws, surely all this must be a pleasing and acceptable mode of worship to the Most High, to whom ignorance cannot be more gratifying than knowledge. After spending years of his life worshiping God by examining the motions of the sun and moon and stars, Copernicus concluded that the earth revolves around the sun. He didn't have much of an explanation for why we don't feel like the earth is rotating rapidly on its axis and hurtling through space. Answers to that question would have to wait for other Christian scientists. But Copernicus was confident that the data supported his model. The publication of his book on the revolutions of the celestial spheres in 1543 generally marks the beginning of the scientific revolution. This is one of the new atheists. He's convinced that belief in God or religion or especially Christianity keeps people from trying to understand the universe. If you ask him about Copernicus or Tycho Brahe or Johannes Kepler or Isaac Newton or any of the other leading figures of the scientific revolution, all of whom believed in God, he won't know what you're talking about because he's never studied the relationship between science and religion. If you point out that every respected historian of science on the planet rejects the conflict model put forward by the architects of the new atheism, he won't care at all, because he has tremendous faith in people like Richard Dawkins, Sam Harris, and Daniel Dennett. His faith in the leaders of the new atheist movement keeps him from considering what actual scholars say, and his dogmatic, mindless allegiance to the new atheism blinds him to facts that conclusively prove that his position is false. Unlike Copernicus, no amount of data can persuade him to change his views. Welcome to the new atheism, the perfect union of gullibility, dogma, inconsistency, superficial thinking, resentment, hostility, denial, and childishness.